Hello folks, I'd like to, um, for what it's worth, state my beliefs, I guess you could call this a statement of faith, um, forgive the background noises, cars going by, kids playing, anyway, um, what I believe is, I believe there is one sovereign, eternal, living God sole creator of the heavens and the earth, brought into existence by his word, who alone has immortality, eternal life, without beginning or end. I believe also in one Lord Jesus Christ, who came into existence by the seed of the woman and the seed of David, according to the flesh, as the Son of Man in the flesh, who is the only begotten Son of the living God, by way of the resurrection, according to the Scriptures, fulfilling Psalm 2-7, who alone is the way, the truth, and the life, and is the only way to the Father, the Lamb of God, and that it is His shed blood that can alone cleanse us of forsaken, and by forsaken I mean repentant sins, purging our conscience through whom as the gift of God and the hope of glory and faithful obedience to Christ's human example, we too will be resurrected as partakers of God's divine nature, which is holy, immortal, and eternal. Just as Christ has been made a partaker upon his resurrection, raised as a life-giving spirit the last Adam, who upon his second coming will return for his bride, who is his church, who has faithfully kept herself without blemish. I believe God is a spirit, as scripture says, who is holy, as scripture says, who in all his fullness was manifest bodily, in, not as, the flesh of the man, Christ Jesus the prophesied Messiah and Davidic King, born of the same corruptible, not corrupted flesh we all inherit from Adam, a partaker of the same, made and tempted in all points as we are, born of a human virgin, of the seed of the woman, and seed of David according to the flesh, as a fully human man and son of man in the flesh who lived a perfect, sinless life, holy life, obedient to the will of his God and Father, and thereby did not inherit the wages of sin, which is the second death, who suffered persecution, was tortured and crucified, who after three days dead in the grave was resurrected from the dead by his God and Father, thereby defeating death, which is the wages of sin, and therefore was resurrected as the firstborn from the dead, as our pattern, who ascended to heaven and is sealed and enthroned at the right hand of his Father, as the one mediator between God and man, the man, Christ Jesus, King of kings and Lord of lords, who will return to judge both the living and the dead, according to their deeds done in their body of flesh. I believe the Holy Spirit is indwelling the born-again believer, which will witness to scriptural truths uncompromisingly, with all emotional filters and theological rose-colored lenses abandoned, and that the Word of God is under attack via the original tactic of the devil. Doubt, hath God said. I believe the Christian is a repentant soul who has been born from above, received the seed of promise of eternal life, who will then be led by the very same Holy Spirit of God who indwelt his Son, Jesus Christ, who was led by that same Spirit 
baptized into the Jordan River and was led by the Spirit into victory over all temptation. Who is our human example in the flesh? Who commands we must follow him, walking even as he walked, and that through the Spirit of holiness, the Holy Spirit, we become willful servants of righteousness who have put to death the desires of our flesh and the old man to death, and that we will be observably separate from the world, having a godly hatred of sin, and partake not of the table of demons. I believe the true Christian, by mere uncompromising obedient faithfulness to the Word of God and to Christ Jesus, will be persecuted and hated by the world, just as Jesus promised to those who faithfully follow in his footsteps, and that if the world loves them, it is a very strong indication it is because they are of the world and are of the spirit of this age. I believe that we are saved by grace, but grace as biblically defined as a teacher of holiness, of holy living, defined in Titus 2:11 to 12, which came by the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ and is received by us through the faith, through faith that is faithful, faith that walks in obedience, in obedient submission to the Lordship of Jesus Christ, who is, according to Hebrews 5, 9, the Savior of those who obey him. I believe this is the gospel offer, the good news, which first went out to Israel, which now is freely available to all souls, which promises life to those who have genuine repentance towards God and faith towards Jesus Christ, not only who believe in him, but also believe his words and that they must obey him. As God now calls all men everywhere to repentance and to faithful obedience to his son. I believe scripture clearly teaches we can indeed abuse the grace of God and trample it underfoot, the holy blood of Christ, by which one is sanctified, thereby departing from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, and ultimately come under the strong delusion and judgment of God, per 2 Thessalonians 2, verses 11-12, and believe that is happening as we speak. I believe there is another Jesus and another gospel which comforts the flesh by which one can receive another spirit, a counterfeit spirit, an unholy spirit, which is exponent exponentially being preached from the vast majority of pulpits today, which fills pews, pockets, and hell itself to itching ears who are receiving another spirit under delusion, which by doctrines of devils in many forms all echo the original seductive lie of the devil that we can sin and God will still accept us, that ye will not surely die. I believe God has ordained clear gender distinctions that are being intentionally blurred via the feminist, homosexual, and transgender agenda, and that marriage and sex are strictly for one woman and one man for life as ordained by God Almighty. I believe the days we live in are evil, and that evil will only wax worse and worse, and that we in the, are in the very midst of a rapidly rising apostasy that will only heighten until Christ returns and will consume his adversaries by the word of his mouth, the sword of his mouth, and the brightness of his coming. I believe we are all at the cusp of and threshold of the man of sin, the man of lawlessness, the Antichrist, 
who will seat himself in the temple of God, showing himself to be God, and that he will under rule under a counterfeit false love of tolerance and ecumenical religious coexistence, will genocidally persecute any and all forms of true, uncompromising biblical Christianity. I believe there is a literal devil, a literal lake of fire, which upon resurrection from the dead unto judgment is the final and eternal destination of every soul who rebels against the living God who gave them life, or who does not have an enduring and obedient faithfulness to the Lord Jesus Christ, who alone by his blood saves them from sin, not in sin, and that it shall be the destiny of every damned soul by their own admission and free will choice. I believe the signs of the Lord are at hand. The signs of the Lord's return are at hand, that is. That light and darkness, sheep and goats, are being divided. That wheat and tares are being gathered and separated as we speak. The wheat for the Lord's harvest and the tares for burning with unquenchable fire. That's all, folks. Take care.